Well, tonight, Lawrence police just announced a suspect has been arrested in the carjacking and robbing of a woman off Pendleton Pike. Yeah, police are telling us that man forced himself into her car, then drove the woman to two banks yesterday and demanded that she withdraw cash. Our Lauren Costick looked into this scary incident and also the recent rise in carjackings. It's a terrifying situation that only takes seconds. Our belief is this was a crime of opportunity. On Monday, a woman in Lawrence became the latest carjacking victim. A frightening incident for the victim, certainly. Fortunately, she was physically unharmed, but the emotional trauma is nonetheless significant. Police say the woman was leaving this Dollar Tree off Pendleton Pike when a man started to follow her. As soon as she got to her car, a man lifted his shirt, showed a gun, and told her to scoot over. The suspect then drove to the closest Huntington Bank, but the ATM was closed. So he went to another one in Irvington, where he forced her to withdraw cash. After that, the man drove downtown and told her to get out. It's a dangerous trend that's happening all over Marion County, including a woman who was shot and carjacked just earlier this month at a gas station on the southwest side. I was just scared that I was going to bleed out and wouldn't make it home to my son. And a few weeks before that, a Westfield man says a group attempted to take his car at an east side gas station, but thankfully he got away. I stepped back further and that's when I got hit in the back of the head and then got hit in the front of the head and then turned around and I got pepper sprayed. Despite these recent incidents, IMPD says the city is actually seeing 30% fewer carjackings compared to last year. But even with that decrease, there are still 138 cases, 22 of those happening in September alone. As for the incident in Lawrence, Chief Woodruff says it's isolated, but still very concerning. You know, even one is one too many. Absolutely. Again, police made an arrest in this case in the last few minutes. They say they recovered the vehicle and the gun. Tonight on 13 News at 11, we'll hear from the victim of this carjacking and the scary ordeal that she went through.